until the 1930s. Um, and that the type of uh, postman's cap that she was describing went out of use in, a, in the early 1900s. So he thought, hmm. So, so he got, he got uh, copies of the books. Or actually, first of all, he had the, the, the adult book. So it was given that, that he gave to the mother. And she read the stories, the seven stories to the little girl once, once a week. She didn't want to overcrowd her. And, well, first of all, this is, this was, of course, uh, particularly, well, we've seen this with other children, but in this particular case, this little girl absolutely adored the penguins. Oh, wow. And, and one very important thing. Now, I mean, you know, parents are going to say, oh, my God, oh, my goodness, we mustn't go there. But uh, in one of the stories, the fourth story, uh, little Pengos inside his, uh, inside his, 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 his penguin of the month, I mean, his penguin of the time, um, he actually gets, the penguin gets eaten by a seal. And there's even a picture in the book. I, I, uh, I don't know if you've had time to flick through it, Gary, but anyway. Um, no, I've there is a picture through. of, yeah, there, there, is a, there is a picture of the little penguin in the mouth of the, of, of the seal. But, um, so, so the soul of, of, uh, the, the soul Pengos is liberated from this body and he is flying in the air and looking down on what's happening to, to poor little Gentos, the, the, the penguin in question being eaten by the, by the, by the seal. But he's flying. And this is so wonderful. I mean, this is the one thing, you, of course, that penguins can't do. They can't fly. But there he is, flying through the air, looking down at poor little Pengos, looking down at poor little Gentos, and thinking, oh, well, now I can fly. This is really great. And I'll, um, you know, I'll see what I do in my next life. Oh, wow. So it completely demystifies the idea of death. Um, actually, I'll I, I just, I just read you. This is, this is from the actual story. Yeah, please so, do. Um, yeah, and so um, so the spirit is released from the body, bringing great peace and joy. And this, this is the quote. His spirit is free and can float and fly in the air like penguins never can. What a wonderful, peaceful feeling. He decides to enjoy it for a while before finding another penguin egg to get into and continue his journey towards becoming an emperor. The greatest penguin of all. Oh wow! Can I ask you a question, Gordon? Have you found any parents? Yeah. You know, because you have people who believe in reincarnation, and then naturally you're going to have people who believe, nah, it doesn't exist. It's poppycock. Have you uh, had? Yeah. Have you had any of those people voice any of the opposite? Uh, you know, most of our listeners are going to be. You know, they're going to believe. I'll be honest with you. They're going to believe in reincarnation. Otherwise, they wouldn't be listening to this show. Um, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's strange because you, you mentioned the, you know, you mentioned the R word, reincarnation, and, and, and some people look at you, they think, oh, oh, and that, so far, sort of in my immediate circle, people are a bit used to me coming out with strange ideas, but, um, uh, people who, people who know, who know, who know me less are, uh, well, they're a bit wary, but but nobody so far, anyway, has said it. You know, this is a this is a load of rubbish. They they will they will listen, and when they see the books and they see that they are obviously, you know, that the, the, the well the stories and, any, and with all the illustrations are definitely aimed at children. They of course, they get drawn into it, and. Um, and and actually, it does make things happen because just getting back to the story of the, of the little girl there who, who saw the house and the postman, um, what has happened is that her mother, who's been reading it to her every month, every yeah, every week, um, she started off knowing virtually nothing about about uh, reincarnation, but now having seen, having, having read those stories to her daughter and having read the articles that accompany them in, in, the, in the parents' book, she's now totally convinced. And so what we are seeing is that not only can 
it has an effect on the children, or maybe none, because there are children, because only, probably, you know, of all the children who read it, we're probably not going to get many more than 25% who might really connect to something that they identify as, as something in a previous life. But it would seem that it's a way of introducing the subject to parents in a way which is, which is, you know, soft and gentle and, and, once they've they've looked at all the other articles and once they've they've seen the way children find the stories actually natural because even if they don't talk about their own personal experiences for them the idea of uh, of, of of coming back doesn't seem to put them out at all in fact this little girl said to her mother she said mummy she said okay pengos um he, when he dies, he doesn't die. He comes back in another penguin. He said, does that mean that if you or, or daddy die, you come back as somebody else? And could that be as a black person or a Chinese? Yeah, it, it's quite possible. And, and so, so parents, you know, when parents come across that sort of thing, they start to wonder. And and uh, Eve and and in fact and, and her dad, this little girl's dad, who was a bit wary of this, you know. But actually, he, at least he he and his wife had a, had had a long conversation about reincarnation. This would not have happened if it, you know if they hadn't if they hadn't had the book. Yeah, it kind of would open up the parents' eyes. I, I wish I had that book when you know when all my kids were little. You know, I mean. Uh, it would have made things a lot better because, you know, it's funny, you, you have a child at a certain age and then they, they have this thing they ask about death and, you know, what happens yeah. when they, they die. And, and it's so hard to, you know, it's worse even than talking about sex with a teenager. I mean, how do you sit there and tell a five or seven or eight year old about death and what it's like to die? And do you come back to life? You know, and I've, yeah. I've read so many of these little you know, tidbits of, you know, young kids, like the, you mentioned the one in the Civil War. Uh, the one, though, I, ha I always go back to the one that happened in uh, in Britain uh, where the kid was a fighter pilot from World War II and yeah. remembered that his plane caught on fire and he burned up and stuff like that. But he remembered names of his friends and he remembered what air base he was at and he remembered so much that there's no way yeah. a four and five year old kid could ever remember any of that stuff, or even even if they heard about it, remember it to explain it. And this kid was able to explain step by step a whole bunch of stuff. And, and you know, yeah. again, when he hit around seven or eight years old, it kind of like uh, disappeared. So I mean, you know, yeah. I'm just wondering, have you ever heard of? where it hasn't disappeared, where the young kid went past seven, got into puberty and still remembered uh, a past life or, or has it the case where all the time there are, there are some cases. Yeah. No, yeah, there, there, there don't seem to be very many because, um, if it's, if it's a trauma, if, if, if it's something that will do, that leads to a trauma, then, um, then, and they discover it. They discover the source. Then, it, then it will go away. You know, even even those even children with the very strongest memories, um, they end up remembering that they had remembered. But but the but the you know after after the age of seven or the age of or eight, you know, um, really, it's the present life that counts. And by the way, that that is a thing which is really important. You know, in any case, however. Whatever we think, whatever research we do, and all, and all that, it is this life that counts. Because, oh, yeah. And this is because this is the sum of all the other lives, and, and, and this is our present life is the sum of everything we've been up to now, and that's what we've got to handle. And we 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 shouldn't dwell too much on the past, you know. It, it's but it's good to know that we do have a past, and that we do have a future. And that, um, and you know, and that so-called death is just a is just a pause in the a pause in the process. It's an it's 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 an it, it's like an endless soap opera. You know, it's one of these TV soap operas that never ends. Well, that's yeah. what, that's what life is all about. Well, you know, I I was reading about this one case, uh, and it happened in the Middle East where this little boy, uh, you know, and he was like five or six years old 
was telling everybody that guy in our village killed me. And he, you know, and he was telling his parents and telling everybody that this guy killed me. Well, from what I remember, he actually took uh, the him and I guess some authorities, whatever, uh, to a grave. And, uh, you know, he described how he was killed and all that stuff. And there they found the remains uh, and they, the, the remains show the trauma of it, the, the child being killed exactly like uh, he said. And then it seemed like after yeah. he, he, you know, exposed it all, then all of a sudden, bam, yeah. again, it faded away. But they actually put, they actually, yeah. uh, they d- did incarcerate or kill the, the guy that did it. Or, But uh, it uh, it was kind of, uh, I read that and that one was yeah. really scary. Yeah, I read, I, was, I, I came across that, I think, last week, actually. Um, absolutely. I mean, now, 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 if that isn't convincing, you know, convincing evidence, I don't know what is. <laughs> well, to sit there and um, actually pinpoint the person who did it who was still living and where the grave yeah. was and all that stuff. I mean, it was like he was reincarnated, but it, his mission was actually to clear that up and resolve uh, what happened. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. I mean, um, I, wasn't that was wasn't that in wasn't that in India or some or somewhere in the east? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of because of course there because because the 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 the, the culture um, has you know has 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 absorbed or, or sort of has has a place for for reincarnation. Then it's more likely he would be listened to. But I mean, if somebody tried doing that in you know in 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 the UK or the states, I think they would not. Uh, they would not get so far. <laughs> no, I don't think they would have got far anyway. I think uh, Kevin has another question for you. Hey, yeah. it's not really a question, but to everyone that's listening right now, you can find his book, uh, An- Another Egg, Another Life, on our website at www.nightdreamstalkradio. Just scroll down on the page, listen now, and you'll find his book. You'll find his link to Amazon, and yeah. Well, thank you, uh, Kevin. He just put that up there for you, Gordon, for our listeners can find right. it. <laughs> wow, you know yeah. that, that 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 some of those like we were talking about the thing like Anne Frank. Even if I remember that too, I read a little bit. Uh, she was even talking about the hidden room and all that stuff, and and it was stuff that yeah. you know this stuff like that. It makes you realize there what has to be something, it, you know that uh, people are, you know, being reincarnated, uh, at least part of them or a part of a spirit or something. And I think a lot of times, and maybe I'm wrong, it's to resolve an issue or something. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I mean, you know, I think we all have, we all, we all have issues to, to, to solve. Um, or we all have missions to accomplish. And, and they, these are, 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 uh, are very much um, determined before um, before we before we come, and uh, we we kind of write our own scenario. You know, we decide which uh, which parents are the best for us for the particular lessons we have to learn, and um, and the opportunities are presented to us which we have. Which we have free will to, to decide if we want to, to to take up the option or not, because it's there's a fine line between between working out these kind of karmic uh, debts, um, but but nothing, you know, we do have free will. I mean, um, it's, the, the the script is not written. The the opportunities may well be written, or or the the various plot lines can be written, but which ones we actually choose are, are not um, are not determined. Otherwise, there'd be no point. Now, you mentioned something right there that I didn't realize. Can uh, the reincarnation, the, the, the child, the, uh, can they actually choose their own parents? Have you, uh, you know, is that... Uh, uh, well, that's that's what it's, you know, that, that's what, uh, that's what he, that's what he said. Um, but it seems to me it seems to me logical because for for this to have sense at, uh, at all, if we have made mistakes in in, in a life and we need to to right to to right those lies to to, to right those wrongs, um, we have to have the right um, opportunities, the right environment, the right family. 
background, etc. So it 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 stands.